today for math, what we're going to do is we're just going to do, Maddie, a different couple strategies um, that you've been doing all year round where you add different numbers together. So I remember a lot of you are very good at doing strategies where you make numbers 10 and then you add tens together or you add doubles together. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to, I want you to show me the different strategies you use when you solve addition problems in math, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a math problem. You guys sit there until I'm almost Easy done. Easy or hard? Give you kind of a little bit easier math problem, but in this math problem you need to show me a strategy you use to solve the problem, okay? Again, I don't want you just to write the answer. I want you to write how you got the answer, whether it be um, you added tens together, you added doubles, maybe you use base 10 blocks. You need to tell me the strategy you used to solve the problem, okay? Also, you can just write, I used um, base 10 blocks. You can also write this, that first. The problem was Bill baked cookies for his family on Christmas. He baked 12 chocolate chip cookies, eight sugar cookies, and five oatmeal cookies. So the problem is how, plus eight yep. plus five. how many cookies did he bake in all? And I know all of you came up with a good strategy, so I'm just going to draw sticks. So, Brayden, on the board, show us a different a strategy you used to solve this problem. Yep, you can use your paper if you want. So what, do you, what did you do? Ooh, I see three different ways of how you solved it. I think I might have done two. 12, 12 plus Seven. eight, and what does that equal? Um, 20. 20. 20, good. So he's gotten the 12 chocolate chip cookies and the eight sugar cookies taken care of. So now he or has to add <laughs> five. <laughs> That's good. Because second graders, what do we know? 2 plus 8 equals what? Um, 12. Not 2 plus 8 equals what? 10, oh, ten right? Yeah. But you have 12, so 12 plus 8 equals 20, right? Because we know 2 plus 8 equals 10. That's easy. And we all know 20 plus 5 equals 25. All right. Raise your hand. Who I know a lot of you did it this strategy. Who else did it a di different way? It's hard to choose all of you. Malia, how did you do it? I'll choose a girl. Choose a girl next, too. Choose a boy. All right, let's listen to what Malia has. She first did eight sugar cookies plus five oatmeal cookies and got 13. Because did a lot of you remember that because of the fact families yesterday you worked on, Maddie you and Nathan? You do eight plus ten and then yep. you use two from the three, from the five and then you have three. Good. And five. thirteen plus ten, it, we all know, is thirteen plus ten. Twenty-three. 10. Oh. Some don't choose that one. Good. And Malia, why did you do 13 plus 10? Because it would be easier. It'd be easier, right? You can just add a 10. So 13 plus 10 is 23. But she was adding 12, so how much does she still need to add? Two, right? She added the 10 already, but she still needs to add the two. Let's think of one more um, number sentence. Let's do Mason. And then we'll do Hunter's chart. And we'll see if we can draw. So, Mason, what did you do? That's okay, you can just leave and take this. So, Olivia, put your. Can you. Give me the pencils, please. Or, yep, just leave them on the desk. So Mason did 5 plus 12, and what did you come up with? I, have, I took away 
raise a 2 for the 12. Is really smart is he did did you add the five to the ten first yeah he added five to the ten which is five and ten is 15 right Nevea? and then he still added he needed to add two more to that and 15 plus 2 is Nevea. 17 right good Mason and then you still need to add eight And then what would that be? That one's kind of tricky. Could you split the 25. eight up? Uh, it is 25. Did you split the eight up at all or no? Eight is, eight is really close to what number? That would be easy to add. 20. Not 20. Eight is really close to what number would be easy to add? 178. 10. 10, right? And what's 17 plus 10? And just add a, ch a 10 to it. 20. 27, right? Good. And then you'd have to, how many would you have to subtract? If you added 10, but you had 8, how many would you? 2, two right? And you get 25. Okay. So what number did you start with? I started off. So he started with 12. Good. Maddie, make sure you're looking so you know what to do. So what number did you add next? Eight, so how many was that all together? So there's eight right there. And then you have to add five, right? So you how did you add? That. How did you add those together? Yeah. I took, I put them all together, mm -hmm. and I took two, four, six, eight, ten. Mm -hmm. Good read. First, is, he counted 12 out, 8, and then 5. And with the extra ones, he just counted by 2. So he did 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Got a 10 block. And then he figured out he had 5 extra left over. Did anybody else kind of think of it like